Welcome to part one of the standard deployment video series. This video series is designed for system administrators. It defines EPM system standard deployment and when to use it, and gives an overview of the standard deployment process. This part of the series defines standard deployment and describes the basic steps. It includes links to each of the videos in the series. Part 2 of the series gives an overview of the steps you take to prepare for standard deployment. Part 3 of the series gives an overview of how to install and configure an initial instance of EPM system components. Part 4 of the series gives an overview of how to scale out EPM system components and how to install EPM system clients. These videos are designed to be watched in sequence. Oracle recommends using standard deployment for setting up a production environment that includes most EPM system components in a Windows 64-bit environment. Here are the basic steps. First, prepare the environment and download the software. Next, install and configure a component and then validate that it's working. Once it's validated, repeat the steps to install and validate the next component until all the components are installed. Then, scale out a component, depending on your load requirements, and validate that it's working. Once it's validated, repeat the steps to scale out and validate the next component until all the components are scaled as needed for your environment. Last, install client software. This modular approach makes it easier to pinpoint any problems, and Oracle can support you more easily when you use standard deployment. This video series gives you an overview of the deployment process, but it's not meant to give you step-by-step -step instructions. Use the EPM System Standard Deployment Guide if you want step-by-step -step instructions, including screenshots, to guide you through the deployment process for EPM System components. You can download the Standard Deployment Guide from Oracle Technology Network. You might want to download the Standard Deployment Guide and follow along as you watch the video series. I'll be showing you where to look in the guide for details for each of the steps. The guide and this video series describe standard deployment using Microsoft Windows 2008 R2 and Oracle Database 11G, but you can use a different supported database or operating system with minor adjustments to the procedures. This wraps up part one of the standard deployment video series, which gave you an overview of the standard deployment process. Now you're ready to get started with standard deployment. Click the link to watch part two, preparing for deployment. For more information about EPM system or other Oracle products, visit the link shown here.